This next story might come off as a shocker to you. Listen to this, a horse with the name Shocker. Yeah, that's the horse's name. Somehow ended up in its owner's pool and had to be rescued. You see these incredible images. Wow. It happened yesterday morning in Hamul. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol joining us live to show us just how these crews were able to pull off this rescue here. Dana Marie? Well, Eric and Netta, we can use that pun because we know now Shocker is feeling great. He's happy and healthy after yesterday's rescue. But take a look at these photos that team captured while this was all happening. Now, we know right now that this horse was taken really good care of because a volunteer team tried several different tactics, like using a ramp the owner built to get Shocker out of the pool. When that didn't work, the emergency response team here at the Humane Society was called in to set up their rescue tripod in order to lift up the horse. As you can see, they also placed a protective helmet on his head to limit his vision and keep him calm. Now, a veterinarian was on standby to ensure Shocker was doing well throughout the rescue, and we're being told about three hours after Shocker was back up in the grass on his four legs, uninjured where he belongs. Now, I spoke with the captain of the San Diego Humane Society the emergency response team who says a lot of factors go into making a rescue like this successful. We want our citizens to know that our tech rescue team, which is part of our humane law enforcement department under our emergency response, is absolutely here for that kind of situation. They shouldn't hesitate to call for that kind of help. Um, I think a lot of them maybe assume there's just nothing that can be done and they're going to need to go ahead and euthanize their animal. Well, if you'd like to rewatch or look at more photos of this rescue of Shocker. We have all of that on CBS8.com. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from the San Diego Humane Society.